and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then welcome. My name is Millie and today I want to show you through a few of my very favourite blushes. So I feel like I look really sort of flat. I don't have any blusher on. I've got all the rest of my makeup on and I will show you my four favourite blushes at the moment and I will put one and two on my face. Um, obviously I've only got one face but I've got two cheeks so I can put two on at once but I will show you the rest of them on the back of my hand and I think that all of these would be perfect for anybody of my skin tone so basically Casper the Ghost very very pale very freckly and I do have a lot of red undertones in my skin so that has always meant that I've been very scared to wear blush I embraced it last year and I haven't let go I really enjoy testing different blushes I mean I, I enjoy testing lots of different makeup but blushes I just feel like is the star of the show at the minute loads of people are finally getting on board with wearing blush and I'm here to tell you that even if you are very pale like me and you just practically see through you can still wear blush and it can still look really cute and these are my four favourites <laughs> So I'll show you these in like chronological order, I suppose. The ones that I picked up first that I've had for ages that I probably shouldn't be using, but I'm still using anyway. And then the more recent ones, because I've definitely developed what I like more over the last sort of year or so. But the first one is the Revolution Ultra Blush Palette in the shade Sugar and Spice. So this has six shades in it, as you can see. Loads of different colours, loads of different well obviously they're all pink it's blush but different undertones different lightness darkness different shades of pink uh loads of different options and i especially love this one they don't have names but this is on the bottom row the second one in and this is just the most beautiful shade on my skin i reach for this one probably more often than the other ones i just find that no matter what makeup i have on my eyes or on my lips no matter what else i'm wearing that one always just seems to really work and i really can rely on it to be suitable for any sort of look so these two at this end are highlighter shades these ones across the top are more sort of tan almost not bronzy tone but almost more brown toned blushes and then this one's just a little bit too dark for me even if i use a really light hand but this one is just perfect and i love that one on so i will just swatch that specific one i mean the other ones are beautiful i do sometimes use the other ones i actually sometimes use these highlighter shades on my eyes as like a it's not glittery it is just a very soft sort of highlighter sheen but that shade is just beautiful so i have just taken my fitbit off if you can see that but that's that shade there so obviously it comes out really really bright but it blends out beautifully like if you can see at that end it is a little bit more blended and it just looks beautiful and it is matte that shade as well which i feel is important to say because some of these aren't so then i wanted something that was that color that i figured out that that's the color that i wanted but just in a single one so i picked up this again from revolution and this is the blusher reloaded in pink lady so that's what that looks like on the inside and if i hold these two up next to each other then you might just be able to see very very close in color this was the closest one that I could see on the Superdrug website that looked the same as that one from the palette. And I just wanted something that was the same as that, but easier to travel with and, you know, all of that traveling that we're doing at the minute. <laughs> but I knew that I wanted something like that that was just in one, just for ease of use more than anything. And I find that the Revolution powders always perform. I don't think I've ever tried a Revolution palette or powder and not really really enjoyed it they've just always been really really easy to use they always blend out really nicely they're always a really nice level of pigment and i just really really rate them so you can see how close those ones are the pink lady one is just a little bit orangier just a tiny tiny little bit but on the skin they look beautiful 
So the next one on my list is from Flower Beauty and this is the powder blush in the shade Wild Rose and this is the most beautiful pink shade. I mean, they're all pink. I need to stop saying that. They are all pink, the blushes. But again, it's just that shade that I knew would work for me and this blends out like an absolute dream. Like I am aware that that looks very, very neon and Flower Beauty does have some light, well, all of these have lighter shades and darker shades that I think are just incredible. But again, I wanted something that was a little bit, a little bit different. This is more of like a hot pink, whereas the other ones are a little bit sort of orangier. This is beautiful. I almost don't want to use this because I don't want to ruin the pattern on it. I've had this since around about the beginning of December and the pattern is starting to go a little bit and I'm really sad about it because it's really pretty but it's there to be used. So this is the Wild Rose shade. They blend out so beautifully. They just look so soft on the skin. Incredible. And the Flower Beauty one, it was a little bit more expensive. I think it might have been around about £12, whereas like this Revolution one was like four. Like you can't go wrong. But yeah, really, really rate this one. I would happily spend that on another one of these when this one eventually <laughs> runs out. And the last one was actually a gift. I mean, I put it on my list. Phil didn't just buy this thinking that I would like it. I did put it on my list and Phil got it me for Christmas. This is the Milani blush in Berry Amore 03. So Milani do the blush Luminoso that I think literally everybody that is my sort of skin tone, maybe a little bit deeper skin than me, everybody has it. I see it absolutely everywhere. Everybody says how nice it is. I just didn't think that it had the undertones of colour that I know that I like. Whereas this absolutely just looks incredible. It's got the same sort of deeper hot pink shade in it, but it also has the most beautiful gold reflect to it that just looks so soft on the skin. I mean, that looks insane. I really did swell my, swell my finger around in that for too long. But it just catches the light beautifully. It gives you such a healthy glow. I really, really, really rate that on my skin tone. So if you think, oh, I can only get, you know, the one that other people say, like, a lot of blushes will work for a lot of different skin tones, I have found. Like, I looked at that at first and I thought, there is no way that I will like that on my skin, but I love it. So before I carry on, I am just going to put some of it on my face because I feel like I look absolutely insane. So I used to use a really, really big brush. I don't know if you can see how big that is, but this is just from Superdrug. I don't even know. I assume that it said on the packaging blush brush, so I just got that thinking that that is what I should use. But now I use this, which is a Real Techniques buffing brush. And I have just washed this, which is why it's clean. And this one did come with pink tips. I didn't dye that pink with my blusher. But when I was using this one, I was putting on the blush and it was going in a very big area that I didn't like. I want it more precise and then blended out. Whereas this was just getting too much color on my face and I didn't like how it was making me look. Whereas now I really, really like using this. This is a lot denser. So I just need to tap into the product once or twice and then really, really gently. Whereas with this, I was sort of swirling, getting too much product on because I thought that's what I needed and then putting it on and then just looking like a clown. So I now use this and I much prefer the overall look. So I'm going to use the Flower Beauty one. Just, I don't know, it's cold. This just gives the effect of when you come in from the cold and your skin is all pink and fresh and you just look really flushed, but in a really nice way, not in like a, I'm hot and sweaty way in like I've just come in from the cold sort of way. This is beautiful and especially this one over the other ones, 
this is more of like a winter one for me because I just feel like it has that sort of cooler, colder effect to it. I don't think I know what I mean either. <laughs> so yes, like I say, I just tap in really, really lightly. You can see all of the colour on there. I will then tap it off. I normally do it on the back of my hand, but obviously I've got all those swatches there. So I'll just tap it off there so that I'm not getting so much colour on my skin. And then I start sort of here and come forwards. Rather than starting here and going back, <laughs> I start further back because you can blend it away easier, I have found, from back there. And I don't swirl, I sort of pat and move at the same time. And you can see side to side that that has just sort of brought my skin to life, given me a little bit of colour. I mean, obviously it is a colour. I feel like I'm really stating the obvious, but also, I've been doing my blush wrong for so long <laughs> that I would have found this useful. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing this video for. But yeah, you just need a tiny little bit. And I don't normally do like my highlight before I've done blush. I normally do contour, bronzer, blusher, and then highlight sort of going up the way and then it blends everything out nicely. But obviously I was starting this video without any blusher on, so <laughs> that's why. So I hope you can tell the difference from like not wearing it and wearing it. I think that this just adds a little bit of life to your skin. Obviously you'd normally have red tones in your skin anyway and these like pinky undertones in your cheeks and I just think it looks really soft, really romantic and I really love how adding just a little bit of blusher makes your whole face just sort of come alive, looks more lifted. I really, really enjoy it. So if you haven't tried blush before and you are my sort of skin tone, then I definitely recommend these ones. I will put a picture of all of these swatches on my Instagram and also on my blog, which I will leave linked down below. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye.